Well, here we are, boys. Unreal Tournament 3. The failed masterpiece. <laughs> I remember this game came out, man. It was so exciting. We're playing Unreal Tournament 2004. We're getting so good. Training all day long for no reason whatsoever. Nobody's playing the game. People are dying off. Not, they don't want to play anymore. Unreal Tournament 3 is on the horizon. It's coming out soon. This game releases. It's so exciting. The 2004 community is going to play. The UT99 community wants to play. We're all going to play. We all come and we play. And the game is just crap. Man, it has so many glitches and bugs. And it was hard to even run a tournament. To do anything with it. So the game just kind of flopped. It uh, didn't go from there. But, you know... I tried to go pro. You got to try to go pro when these games come out, right? So I was playing a lot and uh, mainly West Coast because they hadn't developed uh, any kind of net code at that point. So playing on the East Coast had a crazy lag to it. But there was one Western tournament in uh, in uh, Oregon that I went to and it was a lot of fun and I ended up winning that tournament. Not very many uh, notable players turned out. I remember Strife was supposed to come and then he never ended up showing up. And then uh, Combat Carl was there, but he did not play. He didn't want to play the game. He hadn't, he hadn't played Unreal Tournament 3. He hadn't really played Unreal Tournament 2004 in a while. He was kind of done with the game, but he was in the area and he always liked to attend that tournament. So uh, he was there. But as for people who played, um, not too many notable people played. Real quick side story on that note. So I went to this LAN tournament and Unreal Tournament 3 is there and uh, I win this tournament and it's about $400 for a prize pri or for first place. And I'm like, yeah, pretty exciting, 400 bucks. Not that much, but hey, it's 400 bucks, it's good. I think I was still 17 at the time, so that's a lot of money, you know? That's a lot of Slurpees and uh, Junior Chickens at uh, McDonald's, right? But then, not even part of the main tournament, out of nowhere at this LAN, there's about 500 people there. They randomly say, I have an Unreal Tournament match, and it's gonna be uh, a crazy free-for-all, and whoever gets the most frags wins. And I'm like, dude, I can win this for sure. It's a bunch of people who don't even play Unreal Tournament are gonna get in this this tournament. They're not sure what game. They're all saying it's gonna be UT99. I'm like, not that confident in UT99, but I still think I can win. We go, we load up. Turns out it's not UT99, it's UT2004. And I've been grinding this game. I'm for sure I'm gonna win, right? They decide to do 32 man free for all on deck 16 or whatever it's called in 2004 on deck and uh, with berserker mode on. Is that what it's called? Berserker mode where all your guns shoot four times as fast. And uh, that's, I think that's pretty much all it was. But it was 32 man. Guns are shooting crazy fast, so you're not using your normal stuff, you know. It wasn't that effective to try to spam some weapons, but uh, anyway, it was just chaos. And it ended up being first to a thousand frags. First to a thousand frags, which was okay. It started off not too bad. I was, uh, you know, you're jumping around, you're fragging. It was actually kind of close because there's so much chaos and there's so many noobs and there's a couple guys who know what they're doing. Uh, so it started off kind of close, you know. By the time I got to like a hundred frags, a lot, it felt like forever had already gone by and there's someone trailing me with like you know 90 frags like they're kind of close and i'm like i'm actually not just flying away here but what happened is as time went on people just dropped out they're like i got five frags and this guy's got 100 i'm not gonna win this so they just quit so our 32 men dwindled and dwindled and dwindled down to probably just about five people left shooting each other by the end of it and you're you were at like 800 frags and there's only five people left and it's like we gotta get i gotta get 200 more frags to win this thing meanwhile i'm at 800 and the next place is at like 700 and it's only 100 at this point but with only six people i'm like there's no way this guy's gonna gain 100 kills on me and i remember we we're sitting in a in a big a big hall 500 computers and we had stools we had no armrests and holding my arms up like this to play the game for three hours straight, I was dying. I was dying. So I remember, uh, yeah, it was about three hours in and I decided I'm just going to take like a 20 minute break. And I just sat back and I relaxed for 20 minutes. 
my guy's still in the game they're just fragging me i'm like whatever i'm up by 100 they get they probably gained like 20 frags while i took my little break and then i came back and i played for about another hour i think it was four and a half hours total to get a thousand frags and the beauty of it all was this little side thing the first place prize was at the time a quad core processor which was unheard of and then i ended up selling it on uh, craigslist for a thousand dollars when i got home so this little side tournament gave me a thousand dollars Meanwhile, the Unreal Tournament 3 tournament that I actually went down there for was uh, only $400. So at least I got some nice prizes out of it, but I thought that was hilarious. This Berserker Mode 32-man free-for-all. Most money I ever made playing Unreal Tournament. 